all of this originated from an idea by Andrew um, about what two, two years ago was it, Karen? It was yeah. Um, when you were admiring the bench up there and the, the manhole covers, and you said what a lovely idea it would be to mark the ancient boundaries between uh, Lancashire and Cheshire. And so here we are. Over to you, Andrew. Uh Thank you very much, Pam. And Speak yeah, quick, a lady and a dog. <laughs> just, just one of those ideas. Now, let you into a secret. I'm one of the patrons of the Friends of Real Lancashire, and one of their aims is to mark the traditional boundaries of the old county palatine. Uh, a lot of people don't realise that because Reddish has a, a Cheshire postal address, although it's been in Greater Manchester for the past 45 years, um, that uh, Reddish and the Heatons, north of the Mersey, are actually in the traditional county palatine of Lancaster. And whilst uh, local government reorganisation has shaped our communities over the past century or so, and uh, Reddish was moved into Stockport County Borough in the early part of the 20th century, that put it in the ceremonial county of Cheshire uh, in 74, uh, the whole of Stockport was put into a new metropolitan borough in a new metropolitan county of Greater Manchester. We've got 800 years of history uh, linked with the Red Rose County and you can still see that chiselled off but you can still read it on the old Reddish Police Station. It says County of Lancaster um, and actually on that side of the river the loyal toast to this day is the Queen and the loyal toast on this side of the river remains the Queen Duke of Lancaster. Uh, if you uh, die and leave your property in Teste on that side of the river, your property goes to the Treasury. And on this side of the river, if you die and leave your property in Teste, it goes to the Duchy of Lancaster. So those boundaries are still there uh, in a number of legal forms as well. Um, and uh, so it's my great pleasure to say, firstly, a big thank you to the Friends of Reddish Vale uh, for this project. The artwork around the Vale is stunning, uh, whether it's the benches, the manhole covers, the various notice boards. But to be able to mark the historic county palatine boundaries of Cheshire and Lancashire at the River Tame, the original uh, boundary, uh, I think is a wonderful project. So I just want to say on behalf of the Friends of Real Lancashire, um, I can't speak for the Cheshire side, um, a thank you uh, to the Friends uh, for uh, ensuring that this bit of artwork, this little bit of history is marked on this bridge. So without further ado, you've heard enough of me because the rain's starting again. Um, I'd like to declare these boundary markers unveiled. Hey. 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 Well, well, that, one to go down there. Let's go to Cheshire. <laughs> <laughs> Back on my turf. So we've moved across the river. Uh, we're now standing in historic Cheshire uh, and there's a wonderful boundary marker here uh, with the wheat sheaf of Cheshire which is the symbol of the county. Um, and of course, uh, the one thing that um, I always think links both the Lancashire part of uh, Old Stockport and uh, the Cheshire part of Old Stockport is Hatting heritage. Also links Denton uh, with Stockport as well, which is great for my constituency that straddles the, the, the borough boundaries. Uh, because, of course, one of the famous symbols of Cheshire is the Cheshire Cat. The Cheshire Cat appeared in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland uh, and of course alongside the Cheshire Cat was the Mad Hatter. Uh, so Lewis Carroll obviously had uh, a bit of an insight into what happened in these parts of, uh, uh, of Cheshire and, uh, and Lancashire where of course hatting is what made my constituency uh, famous around the world. So again it's tipping it down now, the River Thames swollen, that boundary's got wider uh, as I'm speaking, uh, but it's my great pleasure to officially unveil the historic Cheshire sign as well. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we 
finally got it. Should we get a group picture? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Come on, Kyle. Come on, then. Come on, everyone. <laughs> I know it's getting. Just go straight to cake. Right cake. So, to mark this wonderful day, uh, we've got the designs, and can I say a big thank you because it is so stunning the designs that you've done, and you know they look great in. Uh, the final version, but you can see here as well with the the the, um, the cast that um, you know just how much effort and, um, and and artwork and creativity have gone into it. So you know, really well done, and thank you, thank you to uh, the uh, legacy of Frank Bramwell as well um, for uh, paying for this project. And to the friends of Reddish Vale, yet again, for uh, the wonderful work that you do all year round. It's not just about artwork, it's about all the love, the care, the attention that you put into the jewel of my constituency, Reddish Vale Country Park. You wouldn't believe that you're six miles from Piccadilly Gardens here. It is an oasis, it is a jewel. Um, and whether you're from Tameside or from Stockport, because it's right slap bang in the middle of my constituency, I am so proud of the work that the Friends Group uh, does to keep this beautiful country park um, as gorgeous and as well maintained and as beautiful for all the communities that surround it. Um, so thank you uh, as the MP for the work that you do. And this wonderful cake with the River Tame, the Lancashire Red Rose, the Wheat Sheaf of Cheshire, and the Bee of Manchester. And it is a shame to cut it, but anyway, hopefully <laughs> well, I've done it right. <laughs> Thank you.